So I actually had never heard of Art of Soap until I saw it on Little Mac JTV's channel where he gave away a free Art of Soap bar to his first 20 commenters. So shout out to Little Mac JTV for introducing us to new soaps and all the giveaways. If you're not familiar with Little Mac JTV, he does a lot of reviews, mostly soaps, and also does a lot of giveaways. So go subscribe to him to learn about the newest soaps and different soap companies. He's close to reaching his goal of 500 subs, so when he does, you may be able to win something on a giveaway. So Little Mac sent me a couple additional bars to review on my channel because Artist Soap is trying to grow their soap company. So after receiving the bars and testing them out, I liked them enough to go and purchase some more on their site and try some more out so I'd have a bigger sample size to review for this video. They've got a total of nine bars in their catalog and I've tried six of them. So when you go on the website, you'll see that their bars are actually six and a half ounces. So yeah, they're a little more expensive than Dr. Squatch, but you get bigger bars of soap. At six and a half ounces, our soap bars are roughly 30% larger than other natural soap bar brands. Get 25% off individual soaps for your first order. Use promo code FIRSTTIME. If you don't love it, we will refund your full purchase price. Also, if you spend $25 or more, you get free shipping. So I think that's a good deal. All right, so I'll go ahead and tell you what I think of the soaps. I'm going to go over all six bars in order from which ones I liked least to best. I'm primarily judging by scent. All of these bars have good ingredients, and I'll go ahead and list them off for you so that you can see which ones work best for you. So number six, tea tree and eucalyptus. Okay, this smell, it's not bad, but it really smells like a cucumber to me. <laughs> It's not bad, but I don't really like it. I think a lot of women would probably like it. I like that it's subtle and it's not overpowering. It's not weak. You can definitely smell it, but I appreciate that it's not fragrancy like some of the other soap companies. But nonetheless, I still just don't really like this scent that much. But this is a very high quality bar of soap. Let me pull it out so you can see it. Now these bars are big, they're six and a half ounces, so they will cost a little more than Dr. Squatch and Sudsy Bear. These are going for $9.95 a piece, but they're bigger, and the quality is there. This isn't a bad scent, it's just not my cup of tea. Like I said, to me it smells like a cucumber, and I like cucumbers fine, I just don't really prefer my soap smell like a cucumber. But I will say this bar is an excellent moisturizer. I actually use this as a hand soap. And when I use it, I notice how soft it makes my hands feel. So that's really good. I'm just not crazy about the scent. But the quality is there. It is a high quality bar soap. So I mean, if you like the scent of cucumber, you probably really love this bar. Like I said, I think probably more women would like this one than men. But I think Art of Soap is more neutral. I don't think it's necessarily more for men or women, even though some of the scents are probably more for men and others are more for women. And this one, I would say definitely is more for women. But I'm sure some men would like this one too, if you like to smell a cucumber. <laughs> and as you can see, the reviews are very positive for this. I think the reviews are positive for all of these bars. I think the biggest issue that Art of Soap is having is that not many people know of this soap company. And here are the ingredients for tea tree and eucalyptus. Number five, lavender. And I would say this one is more for women than men as well. It just smells like lavender. It's pretty good. It's not one of my personal favorites, but if you like lavender, then I'm sure you really like this bar a lot. Go ahead and open this up so I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, it just smells like lavender. And like I said, what I appreciate about Artist Soap is that you can smell it for sure, but it's not overpowering like some of these other soap companies. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of fragrances added. Although you can definitely still smell it for sure, but I like that it's not overpowering. 
Some of these men's soaps actually smell like perfume. I like that these don't. But I would definitely say that this one is more for women than men. I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients. In the reviews, as you can see, there are a lot of positive reviews here as well. Number four, citrus. Yeah, it smells exactly like what you think. It smells like orange with some grapefruit. I think it smells pretty good. It's not my favorite of the bundle, but I like it. Go ahead and show you what it looks like. There we go. Yeah, I like this. I don't love it, but I like it. This one, I think, could benefit from being a little bit stronger. Not much, but maybe a tad. Don't make it perfumery, of course, but I think that if it was amped up just a tad, this bar would benefit from that. I'll go ahead and list the ingredients for you. And show you the reviews. These all seem to be very positive as well. Number three, Barbershop. This one smells like shaving cream. Go ahead and open it up for you here. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this one smells like shaving cream. It also would be compared to Dr. Squatch's Cool Fresh Aloe. It's very fresh. It smells different from Cool Fresh Aloe, but it's in that same category. I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's not like one of my favorite scents, but I think it's good. I definitely think Cool Fresh Aloe is better than this, but I do like this one. I'll go ahead and list the ingredients. And show you some reviews. You can see they're positive. Honestly, I don't see a lot of negative reviews for these. I see mostly fives and a few fours. And I think I've seen one three. I haven't seen any ones or twos, so that's a very positive sign. Number two, red rum. So this one is one you would compare to Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum or Sudsy Bear's Bear Rum. And I would say this one is about as good as those. Go ahead and show it to you here. So you can see what it looks like. Yeah, this smells like a cinnamon spice cake. I think it's really good. I'd say this is about equal to Bay Rum. I think that's a compliment because I think Bay Rum's really good. The only issue I've had with Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum is that it doesn't seem to be very strong when you use it in the shower. If I had to pick one between this or Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum, I think I'd probably pick this one just because it's a tad stronger. They both smell really good. I'll go ahead and list those ingredients for you. And I'll show you some reviews. As you can see, like the others, they're all positive. And number one, Jasmine. I really love the scent of this one. This one has like an amber scent. This is by far my favorite scent of these six soaps. It smells like amber, but a very fresh, clean amber. Kind of like Dr. Squatch's Cool Fresh Aloe. It smells like a cool fresh aloe bar if amber was the main scent, if that makes sense. I don't even think this has amber in it. It just smells like amber to me. I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients. And you can see the reviews there as well. All very positive. I don't think I've seen any negative reviews for any of these soaps. Like I said, it's been mostly fives and some fours, and I think I saw one three. No ones or twos. So I think that's a really good sign. 
So yeah, if you were to try one soap from the Art of Soap catalog, I would highly recommend trying Jasmine. This is not only my favorite bar from the Art of Soap catalog, but I think this one would probably break my top 10 soaps in general. If any of my viewers have tried Art of Soap, let me know what you think about them in the comments. All right, so that's about it for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.